Hi guys, welcome back. And in the last video, we talked about HTML structures. I'm gonna move this away from here. Yeah, yeah. Talk about HTML structures, and now we'll be looking at um HTML um text, basically. So we're looking at HTML text, text in HTML. We're looking at headings and paragraphs, bold, italic, um things like that. All right. So let's just get into. So um. Let's create a new file again and we'll probably do text dot html. All right, so now we'll start with something called boilerplate. What is a basic boilerplate for initial? So boilerplate basic serves as a template that you'll be using for your blog. Yes. Boilerplate serves as a template you'll be using for mm, like HTML. So instead of you I've been like in the last video we know we had to write everything HTML then um add and all that and kept going like that. But rather than going through this just you just you just get the boiler plate how the structure should be like and how do you do that? So just um your exclamation mark and tab. So this doc type HTML is, is simply like what version of HTML we're using which we are using HTML5 Right and meta tags. I'm going to talk about them later on. So if I open this, if I right click and click on open with live server, we're going to see it pop up right here. You can see there's nothing in our document, so nothing is going to show. But now that I type that, it's going to show. All right. So um, there are structural uh, in come talking about markups in HTML. There are structural markups and there are semantic markups so basically a structural markup is there are elements that you use to describe both the headings and paragraphs of both that used to describe both the headings and paragraphs of the website all right so semantic markups are basically markups that provide more e extra information about what you about what you're writing like they give emphasis something like bolds and all um quotations acronyms and all that um italic so they give emphasis all right so as a very clear so when we talk about headings in html we have six levels of html headings all right so we look at h1 h1 could serve as your main heading right and h2 would serve as your could serve as well, sub heading your h3 could serve as just another heading another another minor heading or you could say um let's say, let's, give, let's call it a sub sub heading then h4 could be um minor heading then we have h5 we could call it another sorry I have an h5 call it another heading h6 another heading last let's call it last level heading. so this is basically our these are the six levels of heading so we have h1 is to a three so these are the basic levels of headings all right so let's just look at paragraphs okay so paragraphs we use paragraphs in our structures paragraphs basically is to create a paragraph and how do you create a paragraph you create a paragraph by surrounding the words that you want to see by an opening p tag and a closing p tag so i can say i there um i am a web developer like share and subscribe all right I just put that and let's do a dummy text of let's say lorem 15. so this is basically going to show up this this app is going to look so that's that's and that means your like what i've said about um structural markup and semantic markup so your h1 and p they are basically just structural markups all right so let's look at um how to use um how to use how to make um a word bold italic and all that so we could we could also use our css 
but this is also an additional knowledge. So some cases you might not want to use CSS, I just want to do it directly into your HTML file. So we could just do that too. So um, I'm going to make, let's just come here. I don't think this is going to look alright to do that. Alright, so um, what should I work? What should I copy here? Okay, let's just go up. Okay, I'm just going to copy this and let's just paste it somewhere here. Right, so this is um a basic, this is what I just pasted here. So, B tag, what HTML is is that you can easily translate it to your English. So, your B element is simply st simply starts for bold. So, I can just put, um, let's take it here. I can just put important into into our B tag. Come just here, and you see, it gets it gets and uh, becomes a bold word. Another one you could use is um italics so let's take frustrating here for example i just put my opening eye tag and my closing eye tag so i can just cut this frustrating hey and put it right inside here no no, no what's going on frustrating right frustrating right so you can see that it's basically an italic another thing you can do is is your u tag which is simply for underline so i could just cut this and put it here and you can see you see that it's been underlined so those are these are like the basic um semantic this thing you could know and additionally you could also talk you could also use subscripts for example um let's just let's just make use of h1 and i'm going to put this subscripts so there are subscripts so so <laughs> subscript all right yeah, so let's say um I want something like the formula the formula for water is H two O. So right now two is on the same line. And if it's the case that I actually want to be like the chemistry format, I could just simply use um SUB to sound for sub and I could put two. And there we get our subscripts. All right. So let's say um, if you want to use uh, what else can we do? Um, two. Let's say two times two times two is the same as two squared. All right. So let's do something that. That's so we can say two two. So if I want to put the two in. To be a superscript, I'll just use sub. Are you there? Then I'll put two. And you can see you can see it show right there. So that's basically it. Then another thing we should know that there's something called white space. And why do we use white space? We use white white space in order to make our code easier to read. And the thing about white space is that when the browser comes across two or more spaces next to each other, it only displays one space. Alright. So Asking about white space. For example, if I um, it's, if I close this, let's look here. So this is where I am targeting right now. So I closed up the space here. If I add the space to it, it's going to. But if I add multiple spaces, it won't have any effect on the HTML page, right? That's how that's how it, um the web browser. The web browser won't take more than one space, one of the spaces. So that's basically it. So if I'm going to add so much space in my coding, it's probably because I want my code to be easier to read. Alright. That's just the point of web spacing of white space. Right. We also have something called um let's let's put this at h1 again. Let's call this superscript, I think. Okay, let's come here and put another h1 and we'll set line breaks. Square line breaks, all right. Now, what are line breaks? Line breaks, um, basically takes everything you're doing to a new line. So, if you wanted to add a line break inside the middle of a paragraph, you use the is b real tab tag. And like I mentioned in structures video, I said br is simply a self closing tag.
you can see there's no opening or closing tab so let's actually see how this works so for example um let's say i have let's use a lorem text i'm going to use lorem um 20 right you can see you will see let's see that okay you know so move this so right now you see that everything is on the same line so i'm going to try and put a line break here and if i put it it takes it to the next line so that's basically what your line break will do it's going to take everything you're doing to the next line like whatever whatever is after it, it takes it to the next line i think we'll look at to be horizontal roots so this is basically if you can guess well it's basically rules i mean like ruler yeah so um let's see let's make a peep and let's do another lorem 20 all right so yeah i'm going to full, i'm going to full br please you so um this is what that so um let's come here and i'm going to put an hr here so what an hr will do is to create an horizontal line it just it just needs to create breaks between themes for example if you're changing like you just want to, you want to show that you're actually changing a section you can just use it so i have hr and i use a closing tag you will see this line here right if i come somewhere here and i use my hr to this is over here well if we don't want to do it like this let's say we have two different paragraphs that are talking about two different things and let's say we have something like h3 here and we say chapter one no one i'm why did i use acts and scenes okay let's say acts one scene act one scene scene scenes spell scene jesus scene one for example and okay i'm taking a break from there and i'm going to let's see let's make another one act act two scene two for example and i put my lorem so this is a typical example of when you can use horizontal roots so that's basically really how i can put it there all right um, i'm going to use some other ones which i find you could just know them for extra knowledge and something called strong so let's make an h3 there is a tab called strong there is an element this is an element strong all right so when do we use strong so um for not strong it just in, in, indicates that um a content or a particular part of the paragraph is should be used with um yeah, as a strong importance so it's just trying to make emphasis for example um if i have something like um notes there is a ditch on the way. I said this is something I want to write. So I could I could just let's just take this out and I'll use strong and I could just put notes. So the thing about strong is that it's in similitude with bold. So you cannot see it used often because it's also going to make make um whatever i write in bold but it's quite useful for screen readers too so you could find that you could find that um useful all right then um there's something called em and em basically changes the meaning em is also good for screen readers so let's put h3 there is something called yeah. So, yeah. And let's do a paragraph. Um, I am 
the web developer. So I'm going to repeat this like two more times. So um, I could decide to put emphasis on here. I am says so like I am a web developer. Oh, sorry, I shouted. So you can see, you also looks like it. It's italics, but you shouldn't use it in exchange for italics. I'll be wrong, that's not so good. I could also come here and use my EM and say I I am a web. So if you're using if, if maybe you're using um a technology if there's a technology that like reads what's going on the screen on the screen, you know when it's reading I am it won't just read I am a web developer since it's so that I it's like I am a web developer. Then the for the second line we have here, we're going to read I am a web developer. Kind of plain emphasis on what you put in between the EM tags. So developer. So that's basically what that's basically what what it is, what that is, what it is, what that is. Okay, um, let's look at quotations. I think after that, may uh, so quotations. Let's just put an H to one. I'll call it quotations. Some of these may not be needed. No. So you can use two like two elements for marking up quotations. You can use a block quote or a Q element. All right. So. Let's do a block quote, right? And if you want to see what a block quote is about, see the block quote element represents content that is quoted from another source, optionally with a citation which must be within a footer or cite element, and optionally within a line changes such as annotations and abbreviations. So that's it. So let's say let's say there's a quote now, and I'm citing this quote from um I'm going to put my site here https www.ubicodes.com uh, and here I write and I create a p tag here and say I am a web developer. You can see the space that the quotation creates. So I, I don't know if my internet is working. Let me for a place where you make use of a quote. Maybe here. Yeah. Let's try checking here. So um as you can see that this is similar to like it's kind of separates it from the line, right? Kind of se pushes pushes it away from like the margin. So that's something like what quotes will do. So if I come out if I come outside there and I write something else, let's do Lorem Lorem ten for example. So it's still going to go. So you can see the two differences between um, block quotes. So let's just do an H3 here and call this a block quotes. Okay. So this is basically how the thing goes. All right. So I, know, I said there are two measures, and now I'm going to talk about how you um Q. You could also make use of Q. So um, let's do an H3 and let's do um, Q. Okay. And you use Q for shorter quotes. Alright. So let's say I have this. I'll create a P tag and I'll use Q. Um, Ella said. Let's not create a Q. Q, Q, just for shorter, right? So checking it out, it creates. Okay, I'm going to remove this quotes I did here, so you see the difference of the Q. So it create. I in our code we didn't put any quotation here, but in our in our HTML, when we have a video on the browser, we can see that it creates the quote by itself. Alright, so that's basically how you can do it. So, um,
I think I think that's all. I think that's basically all. I don't know what else can I talk about here. Let's do one last one. And I think let's look at abbreviations and acronyms. Okay. So I think that would just call it a, a video. Let's say call it a day, but it's not a day. It's a day. So let's just do H3. And uh, let's abbreviations. Um, right so use ab for abbreviations all right so if you use use abbreviation or an acronym then you should use a b b r all right so let's do this something like this and we'll do a b b r all right so let's look at what it says ab Element represents an abbreviation or acronym. Optionally, with its expansion, the title attribute may be used to provide an expansion of the abbreviation. The attribute, if specified, must contain an expansion of the abbreviation and nothing else. Well, so let's give it a title. Let's give it a title of engineer. So I could just put eng. Yeah, and I'm gonna put my name because I'm studying computer engineering. So put Emanuela Bokabasi. <laughs> it's a person, yeah. Right, so um you can see how this is highlighted then. So that's that's basically um let's try and do something else too. Let's just let's make this let's create like an H4. Let's call this Acro Acro. Acro me. Hey, acro themes. Yeah. So um let's create a paragraph and we'll create an acronym. Acronym, right? So what's full name of WWW World Web? World Wide Web. Right. And right in here, something's off. Sorry. Oh, it didn't show up before. Why is it just showing up? I don't know what's going on. It's probably um should we check this online? It might be duplicated. It's not really used. I'm just some of the things just adding them so you just have this wide knowledge just well, let's look could it be something oh why like let's look is really bad yet we were to use an acronym i just call it world why where this is how it will go let's come here let's say um w this um, folder how was that it's probably deprecated. It is a, it's most likely deprecated. Right? So it's, it's even show up like this. I'm just wondering why acronym is doing this. You guys just know it. You know, just do it now. So, um, so that's, I think that's all we need to know. All semantics and all. And all of that, and all of that, and all of that, and all of that. Right? Let's try and take up an exercise and just be applying some of the things we've learned. So, um, let's come here and do an H1 and this exercise. Right? So, um, we're actually going to just try and make something, something meaningful. So that way to put it. Make something meaningful. All right, let's let's come here. Let's create a new folder. There's a text. I'm going to move this text inside here. Yeah, yeah. And it could create create one for structures. Yeah, it's on. Yeah. So that one loads. I don't know why. 
So we've changed the direction. So let's just right click and open this again. Open my live server. And I'm going to come to my structures. So in your text folder, let's do exercise just HTML. Exercise. So um, basically, what we're going to try to do now is to make this. Let's follow what I'm doing. So I want you, you can do it on your own. Just create a little story about your hobbies. Okay, should we say hobbies? A little story about yourself. A website about yourself. So, about me. So, in our about me, let's open this live server. In about me, we have um, a sub H1. Alright, I had a class recently and this question was asked. That's just something like what you should know about me. No about yeah. so something as simple as this. What do you put tab? So I I am UB codes. I am in. Well, I've reached my level. I'm quite young. I'm 300 level. So let's put that um, 300 level. I'll put that. Let's put that italics. So it's a 300 level. Well, I'm going to put in this or get a few weird saying I'm 300 level now. <laughs> I'm in school. I'm a student. Let's put that I'm a student. I'm a student. Let's do something. So let's use our BR here. Let's put I enjoy programming. Alright. So that's what just, that's just gonna take the next time. Even if, if this if this BR wasn't here and I maybe put it by myself that I go to the next line, it won't change anything. So BR is actually what makes it go to the next line. Then Let's put I also enjoy playing the drums. So I could put drums to be um capital letter. All right. All right. Oh. Um. Um, let's try that's something else to be put. Let's see something like an inspiring put to share. So you think should block code or should use normal queue? I think I'll use a normal queue. Um who said who said the codes? Someone said I don't know who said. Someone said well, I think let's brown. Okay, let's use this brown. The brown said, I had an exam with that. So let's that today. Let's brown said, um, it's better to be prepared and not have an opportunity than to have an opportunity thank you very much and not be prepared yeah so you can see this is, is an input so it could be a br here yeah. so let's put an hr here yeah, just to make this look just it right so yeah this is looking a little bit good so basically just play around with some of the things taught today and you would sure have a nice time so that brings us to the end of today's video